Welcome. This is 100 Huntley Street. I'm Maggie John. And joining us all this week, special co-host, Greg Musselman. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome, Greg. Oh, you made me feel so... <laughs> So special. <laughs> Good to it's see you. Exciting to have you. So tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. You've had a, some transitions, some changes. Yeah, I for a number of years I worked uh, with uh, the Voice of the Martyrs Canada. Been yeah. on the program many times, yeah. traveling around the world, both the persecuted church. Yes. And uh, earlier this year I uh, went over to Open Doors Canada, and uh, you will continue to speak about the persecuted church, travel around the world, teach, preach, and do whatever I can uh, to bring awareness to our brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ that are suffering for the sake of the gospel. That's really your passion and I you know I've known you for a number of years I've interviewed you. Mm -hmm. There's a passion to be the voice for the, our persecuted brothers and sisters. Why do you have that passion? Well you know I think right off back in 1988 I was a brand new youth pastor. I had exactly one month a Bible school behind me. Wow. And uh, I was speaking at this church in Leduc just south of Edmonton and uh, they asked me to be their youth pastor. So I went down there and they had a meeting and actually was open doors. Mm. And I heard about the persecuted church. I, I had no understanding. I was still a fairly new Christian, maybe four or five years you know, into the spiritual journey. And uh, somebody from Open Doors brought the message and I heard about how Christians were suffering. And I think like a lot of us, we thought, well, that went on, you know, the time of the Bible, you know, when they you know, put the Christians and the Roman Colosseums and the lions and all that. But now, to hear that it was happening today yeah. is something that we don't understand and tens of thousands of Christians are martyred every year. Mm. Millions are, you know, suffering under, you know, regimes like in North Korea and places like that. So we need to bring the uh, message so we can connect the church in Canada and yes. wherever we speak about our brothers and sisters that are suffering for the gospel. And we are so grateful that you are a voice for what seems to be the voiceless sometimes. Well, that was uh, Richard Wormbrand from uh, The Voice of the Martyrs. That was his passion. And he was very, at times, I think a little bit frustrated because Christians in Canada and America and the Western world were not paying attention to mm. what was going on. And so that's the, you know, the Voice of the Martyrs. And then Brother Andrew, his ministry was with his old little Volkswagen bringing yeah. Bibles into the communist country. Yeah. So these were two great men of God. And I'm having the privilege now being in Brother Andrew's ministry and uh, after many years with uh, Richard Wormbrand's ministry. 